Hello, YouTubers. So today is the day for the surprise. I told you about it in my last video. Here it is. I you can see it. Read it. It's a Jackson. And no, it's not a high dollar, nice, expensive one. I bought the cheapest one there is. And I'll tell you why as we go along. Anyway, got my trusty knife, shall we? Oh, uh, great. They wouldn't put staples in it, too. Yes, they did. box inside the big box. So let's do away with this for now. Set that over there. I'm sure the cats will enjoy chewing on that in a minute. Packed in the styro in the plastic bag with styrofoam wrap all around it. Looks like we got a owner's manual bag that shows the uh, Randy Rose Jackson on it. There's the tremolo bar. It's a good thing that came with it. It's got three different Allen wrenches. This styrofoam stuff right here is great for wrapping up batteries. If you have EMGs and you don't have a battery compartment, wrap your battery up in these real tight. That way it doesn't rattle around inside the electronics compartment. And there's the pointy headstock that I wanted. Yes, yes. Tuners that say Jackson on them. Frets are nice and shiny. Ooh, that's a beautiful blue. Nice blue metallic. Side. Can come over here. See if you can see the metallic in it. Blue's got this, got this really cool contour cutout right there. It's gotta get your whole hand up in there like that. <laughs> but anyway. The reason I got this guitar is because of the neck, mainly. It's got the pointy headstock, just like my old Charvel. 22 frets, which is what I prefer. I'm not too much of a 24 fret guy. I just don't think you need them. You can do any, everything you need to do with the 22 fret. And plus with the 22 fret, if you got more space in between your humbuckers, so it makes your neck humbucker a lot lower sounding like the, almost like the Les Paul sounding. When you get to 24 and the two fret, two pickups are close together, there's not a whole lot of difference in them. 
far as I could tell anyway on the 24 fret models that I own. Anyway, action looks pretty low. Very nice. All about the intonation. Got brand new strings on it. Whoa, to totally out of tune from right out of the box. But the craftsmanship looks really nice. Paint job is good, no scratches. It's got a uh, 12 inch radius on the neck. I'm gonna do a little sanding on that, make it a little bit thinner. But it feels pretty nice, it's pretty thin. Or 12, 12, uh, there you go, 12 inch radius. Like it might be a graphite neck. If it's plastic, it's it sure looks like graphite. It's got the same exact little uh, truss rod cover that my Charvel had. So anyway, for wouldn't believe what I paid for this. I paid one thirty nine ninety five. They normally go for like $149.95, but if you keep it in your cart long enough, the seller will usually offer you a lower price to get it, <laughs> which is what happened. Now this has a two-point two point trim lobe, which is cool, but I don't know if I'm going to keep this bridge or not. It just depends on how it is. I know for sure the pickups are gone. Even, though, even if they're good, I'll put them in something else. But this basically is my next guitar project. I bought this basically as a, a guitar kit. Two reasons why I'm doing this unboxing video. One is for anybody who's interested in a uh, reasonably priced 80s rocking guitar. <laughs> that's what I call That's what I call it. It's a super strat humbuckers two-point tremolo good-looking headstock from the 80s all the 80s bands used to play them your basic 22 fret neck which is all you need to jam out on the old school stuff I mean you can play all the new stuff on it too not all of it but not all the low tune stuff and all them eight string guitars, seven string guitars nowadays. Anyway, if anybody's looking for a basic 22 fret guitar with humbuckers and you want it to be reasonably priced, I think this is a really good deal. Excellent quality. Jackson's been playing making guitars for a long time. Even if this one is made in China, it's made with Jackson's specifications. Because one of the reasons why I like this one was the fact that the nut is actually 43 millimeters instead of 42 like all your other import guitars. It's got a three-way toggle. Jack in plate jack is really nice. It's not loose or anything. I like to say I can't see the whole thing but that looks a lot bigger than your regular uh, import block and it's got the oversized strap strap lugs too which is really convenient keep your strap on without having to buy strap locks there's the Jackson tuners look just like Grover's so anyway in a minute we'll fire up listen to it
to do. But once I do some work on it, I'll get it to where it stays in tune. So anyway, if you're looking for a budget guitar that rocks and those pickups sound pretty damn good, but you got some good distortion, this is a great guitar. But this, the reason why I bought it is for a guitar project. If you saw in my other videos, uh, my 1983 Charvel that I don't have anymore that I really miss and want back, this is the reason why I got this guitar because of pointed headstock, 22 frets. That's what my Charvel had, and I'm going to make this as close to my Charvel. It's going to be an upgraded version of my Charvel because my Charvel only had one humbucker. So my Charvel had an, a white EMG in it. I've got two EMGs that I'm going to paint white. They're going to be in here. Redo the bridge, get that fixed up. And I'm actually going to, believe it or not, as pretty as this is, I know it's going to be hard to do because that's a really pretty metallic blue. But I'm going to keep it on the back so I'll still have it. But I plan on sanding the front of it off. And I've been watching some uh, videos on how to make your own flame maple, make it look like flame maple. And I'm going to do a flame top on it with some white binding, locking tuners, good bridge, EMGs, flame top, binding. It's going to be nice. It's going to take a while, but that will be like a whole series of videos. So keep watching for that. Anyway, if you like this video and you like this guitar, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with the build. Because basically I'm turning this cheap Jackson into a $1,500 80s Charvel guitar. Stay tuned. And keep watching. Like and subscribe.